open our catechism to question 72. Question 72, and we will uh, consider this uh, question uh, for this week. Question 72 reads, How is the word made effectual to salvation? And, of course, this follows on from the previous question, which talks about the ordinary and outward means uh, whereby the Spirit communicates to us the benefits of redemption, which are... Uh, the word and the sacraments so question 72 reads how is the word made effectual to salvation the spirit of God makes the reading but especially the preaching of the word an effectual means of convicting and converting sinners and of building them up in holiness and comfort through faith to salvation there are briefly six uh, points uh, that we want to consider in this answer. First of all, uh, and again, it's it's concentrating on the Word, of course, uh, the Word of God, and we want to consider first of all the power of the Word, which is the Spirit of God. Uh, the Spirit of God makes the reading and especially the preaching of the Word an effectual means of convicting and converting sinners. So therefore in John 16, 13 and 14, the Lord Jesus Christ says, How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. So though we have and we profess the religion of a book, uh, the book, the scriptures, uh, we believe that the power uh, in and through the word is the application by the Spirit of God. And that's why we always pray uh, for the means of grace that the Spirit of God would speak through the word powerfully to our souls. But then uh, consider secondly the perfection of uh, the word of God. Uh, the reading, just the reading of the Word of God is able to convict and convert our souls. So, hence uh, Psalm 19 verse 7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect, there's nothing lacking, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure enlightening the eyes so the perfection of the word just simply reading the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit is sufficient to convict and convert our souls but then thirdly it's preaching the reading of the word of God is important but uh, especially the proclamation of that word uh, and that's why even in the means of grace in our public services we have both the reading and the preaching and it says but especially the preaching of the word 1 Corinthians 1 verse 21 says for after that in the wisdom of God the world by wisdom knew not God it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe and then verse 23 but we preach Christ crucified Unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness, but unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Fourthly, it's preeminence, the preeminence of the word of God. It is an effectual means of convicting and converting sinners. Therefore Paul could say in Romans <clears throat> chapter 1 and verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And fifthly, its purpose and of building them up in holiness and comfort. The great purpose of the word and the application of the word to our souls is to build us up in holiness and comfort. Therefore Colossians 2 verses 6 and 7 reads, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith as you've been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. And finally, it's peerlessness, as I'm calling it. The peerlessness of the word of God through faith 
to salvation. This is why we exalt the word of God and give it its place of peerlessness. There is no equal to the word. Why? Because it is the word of God that is able to make us wise unto salvation. As Romans 5 verse 1 says, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So the word, its power, its perfection, its preaching, its preeminence, its purpose, and its peerlessness. How is the word made effectual to salvation? The Spirit of God makes the reading, but especially the preaching of the word, an effectual means of convicting and converting sinners and of building them up in holiness and comfort through faith to salvation.